Because you are a diplomat doesn't mean you are untruthful. Uh, I could use much harsher words than epicenter. So believe me, considering what has been happening to us, I think epicenter is a very diplomatic word. Several weeks ago, you called Pakistan, uh, your neighbor, the epicenter of terrorism. Well, I uh, did it again today uh, without using the word Pakistan. Uh, yes, and uh, th this uh, doesn't sound very diplomatic, does it? No, because you are a diplomat doesn't mean you are untruthful. Uh, I could use much harsher words than epicenter. So believe me, considering what has been happening to us, I think epicenter is a very diplomatic word. because this is a country which has attacked uh, the parliament of India some years ago, which attacked the city of Mumbai, which went after hotels and foreign tourists, which every day sends uh, terrorists across the uh, border. If you uh, control your sovereign space, which I believe they do, uh, if the terrorist camps operate in broad daylight in cities with recruitment and financing, uh, can you really tell me that the Pakistani state doesn't know what's going on? Especially if they're being trained in military level combat tactics. When we speak about uh, judgments and principles, why don't I hear sharp European condemnation? of these practices which have been going on for multiple decades. Does the world have to be concerned that there someday will be a war between India and Pakistan? I think the world has to be concerned that there is terrorism going on and the world often looks away. Uh, the world often feels it's not my problem because it's happening to some other country. I think the world needs to be concerned about how sincerely and strongly it takes up the challenge of terrorism.